they getting people that's not the same persuasion or extra wing on their plate, but we all paying the same thing. Is this Where hypothetical or is, is this little? No, no, no. I'm saying this stuff that's done happen before. You know what I'm saying? They don't look. They look. Well, they I look out. I they look it. out. They look out for their people, no matter what nobody yeah. else might think. I done seen it. They look out and, for their own. Yeah, yeah, but that, but that's tribalism. We do. No, that. no. They we look do, out for their own. Do, but we do that. But we do that too. We look out not for our own. Yeah, we do. We look out not for over, our own over, over them. Yeah, I we do. Most of us don't. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't never. We don't Beach because up. we don't. Are you crazy? Uh-oh, you got here you go. bullshit Most, here right uh-uh, now. Uh-uh, uh-uh, here you go, here you go. Are you crazy? Black uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. lives matter? Black lives matter? matter. Uh-huh. All right. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Lord Fader, and I am here with Raw T Extraordinaire and MRR. Hey, Merc One, sound off, my brothers. Yes, what it do, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I wanted to have a discussion today uh, about a, a, a question that I'm confused about, but everybody else seemed to have it straight in their head. Does white supremacy exist? So I'm going to ask somebody to really prove to me because I don't believe that it do. But <laughs> you're going to point at me. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 him teacher, he, he raised his hand right there. Him. Yeah. What you think, Buck? You think you think his white supremacy exists, man? Keep it real, Buck. One thousand percent. Keep it real. <laughs> that, if, <laughs> that if we let that you know be white supremacy, because um right now, um time has changed. A lot, you know, since my younger days, and um, I don't really think it uh, exists. Uh oh! Surprise, surprise! I wouldn't have thought I would have heard that from any other brother. What about you, Merck? Merck, what's up? You believe it exists, man? I, to a certain extent, yep. Yeah. It still exists, man. You know, what it is, it's just a little bit more trickery than what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? They got a little more slicker way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they 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 capitalize on what you don't know to block you from what you're trying to get. They pretty much what it is, you know. Right, but what is what is a concrete example of white supremacy? What is something you can point to to say, see, that's why it really exists. Mm, I know I probably got a million of them, but and then, but you know how it is when you be on the spot, you kind of draw a blank. Just give me let's one. Cap, let's see. If I just had to say, um, I'm just my my main thing is just probably unfair treatment when you know everybody's supposed to be getting treated the same way. Okay. You no. Know? Now let me ask you a question. Another question then. Don't we treat each other like that? I mean, I don't remember black people being any more fair to me than white people. I didn't grow up like that. We we all were pretty straight. We all were really down with each other how I grew up. Now, this ain't our generation that's out here doing all this stuff now. You got to remember that too now. I get this that. ain't us. I get that. Yeah, but that we, talk, we, ain't talking about, what they do. we ain't talking about the generation. We talking about right. white supremacy. So what I'm saying is I think people treat people like people treat people. And it don't matter if they Asian Jewish, whatever people treat people like they treat people. It ain't no what, what, extra thing what you, from you know white people to us. I don't think as a whole. Well, see, I have talked to some that told me that that's how they would talk. They would talk that we was um, we was they were, Yeah, they weren't supposed to treat us like we was on the same level as them. They that's what they would talk. They would talk like we was animals. They dog was more uh was higher on the high on the hierarchy than we was you know what i'm saying they yeah. animal was keyword so that what we would, was you know, you know i'm talking about i'm talking about today talking about, do it exactly they still, today. but they still think that that's what i'm saying they still i live in a here it is right now i live in a predominantly white neighborhood it's like in in the in the city where i live at right now black presence is about eight and a half percent out of a hundred percent 
Okay. White white presence is nearly 90%. Okay. okay. So I guess you don't feel safe, right? I feel safe in the sun, but you ain't going <laughs> So <laughs> where's see, the white supremacy? See, the supremacy and safety ain't the same thing, man. You know what I'm no. saying? We we only looking at we look when we saying the white supremacy is when you getting when you getting an unfair advantage, man, compared to me, cause of this. Okay. That's that's what that's that's what that is. Okay. You know, what's as far the as advantage? Like, the advantage is they get them that like I said before, you know, going and actually getting approved for certain stuff that we get denied for. You know, okay. um, given given, let's say we just I'm gonna name like three little things. Let's just say we go to a restaurant, okay? Me, all three of us buy a chicken plate. I'm gonna definitely okay. get chicken. Yeah, right. Okay, but here you go. All let's get a chicken plate, but they getting people that's not this same persuasion or extra wing on their plate, but we all paying the same thing. Is this well, hypothetical or is, is this little? No, no, no. I'm saying this stuff that's done happen before. You know what I'm saying? They don't look. They look. Well, they I look out. I they look it. out. They look out for their people, no matter what nobody yeah. else might think. I done seen it. They look out and, for their own. Yeah, yeah, but that, but that's tribalism. We do. No, that. no. They we look do, out for their own. Do, but we do that. But we do that too. We look out not for our own. Yeah, we do. We look out not for our own over them. Yeah, we do. Most of us don't. <laughs> nah, we don't. We don't know. We don't Beach because up. we don't. Are you crazy? Uh -oh, you got me go. bullshit Most, here right uh -uh, now. Uh -uh, uh -uh, here you go. Are here you go. crazy? Mm -hmm. Black Man. lives matter. Black Man. lives matter. And we don't know. Oh, my. Here you go. Here you go. We know Black Lives Matter was a scam. Oh, my God. It was a scam that I bet you three years ago, everybody would walk around on it. They scammed us. All I'm saying is we treat... I've seen black people treat white people different simply because they white. It's happening all over the world right now. But because I'm saying, I diversity you, I is you, in I want right you think now. About, think about one thing though. Uh, Remember what I told you, one key thing. Yeah. I talked to some of them and they told me that they was taught yeah. to hate us and to not we wasn't taught that shit about them. Yes, we was. No, we wasn't. Yes, my we folk were. did not teach me to hate well, them. Mine did. Hate them. Well, mine my did. Folk, See, here's the thing. Where here's where I think me and you get confused. You, okay. you go through everything based on your anecdotal or your personal experience. And I look at the majority, the generalization of things. In other words, <laughs> in other words, look, most men are not gay. That's a general statement. Don't mean right. every man is not gay. So some man can say, well, I'm gay. But what they got to do with the whole? And that's what I mean. When you're talking about people as a people, you have to generalize. You can't take every example and say, well, I wasn't taught that. But maybe I was. I was taught. Look, it ain't even about talk. Let me tell you what we used to do in school. The book probably can attest to this. We used to just go around and randomly whoop white boys' ass. Just be doing it because yep. they was white. The you yeah. wasn't doing that. Well, I would talk. I, I wasn't finna let that. Like I told, like I told Buck the other week. I'm just I saying. Wasn't finna take, I wasn't finna take no. Oh, I wasn't finna go home. Reason. He got his ass whooped because he called me the N word. Right. I get it. But what I'm saying is, we didn't need no N word. We just had to feel a certain way. So that's all I would say. I wouldn't like that, you know, because I, I, well, I was. Fair dude. I, I wasn't no fair see, dude. I, I was an asshole was a, from the get go. But see. <laughs> this I war with me. So I'm I, I still an asshole. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't try to do nothing to nobody on purpose Man. because you know that I, I always felt that that was like almost like bully mentality, and I hate bullies. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like the way I grew up, I got bullied when I was little. And when I got older, I swore I man. Everybody, I, I everybody done been bullied, no man. Bully, man. And this this wasn't bullying. This was just no, general. I'm saying, I'm this was just general racial. Bullying. This was just general racial bias. That that's all that was. You can't tell. Did you play football? I played basketball, man. Okay, I played basketball too, but I played football. Let me tell you what I used to do in football. We used to have practice, and I was the defensive end. And a little mm -hmm. white dude was the quarterback. And he was basically my friend. We was cool. But right. every play, I used to tear his ass up whether he throwed that ball or not. 
<laughs> Every play. I don't care if he throws to get rid of the hand out to the wall. I was crumbling his ass to the point where he was like, man, you making him gunshot. He can't, right. He's scared to do anything. So all I'm saying is we have our biases like they have their biases. And on that football field, who was superior, me or him? Well, I mean, you were. Well, like, that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, where's the, where's the white supremacy? I get that we live in a system. Uh, we, we I get we live in a system out. that's bent toward white people, but only because they made it up. See, let me tell you another little thing right quick, if you'll allow me to get this thought out. Okay. Uh, Black people are the first people. Right. We have melanin in our skin, and you can't. Take a white person and add melanin to that. You have to, a white person must come from the melanin. In other words, we have 100%, they got 98%, right? So what I'm saying is, or less. We, or less. But we lived on the most fertile place in the world, in Africa. It's still the most resource rich place in the world, right? How many brothers ever thought to dig in the ground and pull iron out? And, and minerals and make silicone and make a computer to make AI. All the time we lived over there, we never thought to do that. Now that don't make us less and that don't make us more, but what I'm saying is, them guys came over there and pillaged that whole thing. They was like, wait a minute, these fools got diamonds in the mountains, gold under their feet, but we didn't value stuff like that. So that just make us different. So they are industrious in that way. They look at you, and they see an opportunity. Now, fast forward to now, that same mindset they got, they gave it over to every minority in this country. You got the same opportunity. You don't have the same outcome, just like you going to get the chicken plate and you getting the less chicken. You got the same opportunity to get the same chicken because I would say, hey, you gave that dude one more piece of chicken, get put one more on my plate. That's what I would say. You said. know what they'll say? You know what they're gonna say if you say that? What? Hey, that's not none of your damn business. You know they're gonna. You need to dial like nine one one, <laughs> sir. That's <laughs> what I would say. You need to <laughs> dial nine one one because why don't you finna get the money up in here? But you know, I'm right. I can vouch for it because I got done like that in Crack Bear. I'm saying yeah, man. Like, they're piling plate up. Okay. Meatloaf. Well, for some meatloaf. Well, I don't know. Billy Bob come with a big ass plate of meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, every piece. Did, did, you ask for, did, you, did, you, did you ask for more? Did you say, "Hey, I want more"? No, you we got supposed more. to be getting the same. We ordered the same order. I but you it. didn't get the same. So what I'm saying is, you have the opportunity. It doesn't mean that you're supposed to be given the same. You're supposed to uh, demand the if same. You, if you pay for the same thing, you're supposed to get the same service, man. You but if you but if you don't, you say, "Hey, man, I paid for the same thing. I didn't get the same service. I don't know why." That is so hard as far as, you know, that leap of thought. Because that's exactly what I would have done. Primarily because I'm greedy. I'm not going to let you get a bigger plate than what I get. Right. Well, me, I'm the type that I'll, I'll just get a shit back to you and let you give me my money back. That's how I am. Well, I don't personally, I don't eat, personally, I don't I eat not. fast food. I, I, think, go I don't eat fast food. food. I don't like, I don't like right. to eat yeah, nothing. I, be like, I don't want it. I don't, I don't, want don't like to eat nothing shit. somebody else cook. I don't want no fast food. This is some of my family or whatnot, because I believe all that stuff is poison. If y'all didn't notice, everybody and their mama got cancer right now because of that mess that they serving you at these fast food joints and at this Cracker Barrel or whatnot, because other people are preparing your food. And think about what it. About that? Go ahead. The fifty cent. What about them fifty cent cheeseburgers that wearing everybody out? Everybody I know been eating them. Been I don't eat that they stuff. They've been they've been having pure diarrhea, bro. I Something don't. I don't eat that stuff. And and you you exactly right. Anything you can buy for fifty cents right now, you ought to know that ain't good. But here's my point. They don't. They don't have to buy. They don't have to buy a fifty cent hamburger. I buy ground beef and I go home and cook my own damn hamburger. Own you know when that right. when those chicken sandwiches when people was out beating each other's ass over them chicken sandwiches. You know what I did? <laughs> I went and bought me some damn chicken tenders and some chicken fillets, some chicken tenderloin, and I made my own damn sandwiches. I would not worry about hey. going out there fighting nobody for no chicken, man. My point is, we control our own destiny, man. We really to do. A extent. It, to no extent. 
the, the world the world the world bends to your will if you have enough fortitude to make it so there's nothing that is impossible nothing everything might be a struggle it might be very 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 hard but you can achieve it and what i'm seeing from how people live we don't want to put that work in we don't want to put that go through that pain i don't want to suffer so that maybe the next generation can have something better and see brothers oh, used my. to be like that like martin luther and, them and all them that's what they was doing they wasn't seeing the benefits to it they was getting water holes bit by dogs beat by people spit on so that we can go to those schools that they couldn't go to so that we can ride the public transportation that they couldn't ride we don't have that now and then we sit back and want people to give us give me this give me that it ain't about giving i'm gonna tell you something i heard on the tv show dallas by the dude that was the daddy of jr you know what he told jr power ain't something you give it's something that you take and that's the problem with us look if, if white supremacy or whatever this system you think exists gives me anything, then I don't have the power. They will be superior if they can give you something. But if I strive on my own and make it, even though it may not be to the level of what they got, it's mine. If I did that. That's my power. And what I'm going to tell you, a group of people on this earth that, and in this country, that's even a less of a minority than us that's showing us how to be successful. We just don't Hispaniola. want to look at it. Nope. Hispaniola. Nope. We are we already kicking their tail. It ain't them. You don't think it did? You don't think Hispanic? Nope. I think it's an even smaller group than us. Hispanics are almost as more populous than us in this country right now. They might have well, already the passed the, us because you know what? They They're not counting half of them. The, the, wealth, the wealthiest group in the United States is the uh, Asian, right? They now. are. They are, and they less of a minority than we are. But no, I'm talking about the Jews. Man, I, I, you know that's a whole nother subject now. We're going to go on. Right it ain't there. really a whole nother I... subject. If we were to approach life the way they did, we would be a whole lot more successful because you can get, look, remember what Dave Chappelle said? He said, I could get on TV and say the N word all day long. He said, but as soon as I tried to say the F word, they was like, oh, oh well, you know, you can't say that. So Michael Jackson had a song that said, Jew me, kite me, and they made him take that out. Now imagine if every song that had the N word in it, we made them take it out, that we didn't even play that. That's the point that I'm saying. We control our own image and our own destiny, man. And, and nobody is superior unless we let them be. And we're letting people be. Go ahead, sir. Only problem I got with that is that that is to like i said to an extent but we don't own no radio show right no no radio no no major radio station right we don't own no major television broadcasting we network we don't own none of the stuff that really all none uh, of the stuff that really and, benefit us and, huh? and, and why is that i mean it just the they don't that they, they just I don't know. I don't know the whole know, deal with it. I know the whole deal with it. But I done seen some of it. We all have it because deal. we ain't got up off our ass and got it. That's point blank what it is. There's nothing I stopping mean, there's nothing stopping you and I from starting a radio station. There's nothing stopping you and I from starting a, a construction company. There's I nothing stopping you and I from having a taxi company. Right. Uber. I, I there's it. nothing stopping you and I from doing that. So we can't look at I, they got. I ain't looking at the. I ain't looking at the stopping of get of the forming of the right, business. Right. I'm looking at the at the stopping of the resources that you need to actually make the business prosper. That's what I'm looking at. We That's all got stopped. the same. We all. It's not. We all got the same opportunity at the same resources. There's no Man, I, resource that they got an opportunity or anyone got an opportunity at that you don't have the opportunity to. Now you might not have. Book, you might not have the book, knowledge of it. Book. I, 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 know Buck, Buck, I know Buck don't jive with what I'm talking about. Most black people don't. Because <laughs> we seeing it different. We can tell you yeah. Columbus, Mississippi, bro. We see it. It's totally different, man. I I think, think, one city. I one city in the south. Right now. Huh? Our government proving that right now. What are they doing? The government that black people elected? They, they, we didn't elect them. We yeah, you did. Them. Yeah, you did. You were so I, you I, they were I, black I people were so black people so anti-Trump. That they elected this pedophile idiot look, into look the office. Oh, oh. I, I wasn't. I couldn't stand. I don't like Joe Biden, bro. 
I don't see what he done did so, that was so good. So for who you so who you vote for? Man, I ain't voting nobody, bro. And that's the problem. Man, they, you got two crooks. I want for the vote now. One. If I you, I, you, one you one dude, one. you you an American citizen. You could have ran. We could have backed a black candidate. Do you know that? Man, do right? you, know, do you know Ben Carson was running at that time? Why didn't we get behind Ben Carson? Do you know what happened if I had a ran for all the men? I would have got. Why did he pull out? Huh? Did he pull out? Who? Ben, ben Carson. Ben yeah, Carson. he didn't get the nomination because no black people were supporting him. So you know, if he did that, what you man, I'd have been the lavish stock of the country, man. Well, I can just tell you that's what I would call a defeatist attitude, and that's why no, we stay. I'm not, I'm not defeated. It, it just it, it's a defeatist. One, I, I don't, I don't say that. you were defeated. I said it's a defeatist. No, it's a mind state. Saying, but if you don't know politics, you can't just get in there. You can't just okay. I'm a run. Yes, off, you can. Boom. Yes, man. you can. It don't. Man, it yes, you like can, that, bro. You gotta yes, have money to fund all of that, man. Yes, you do. You have you to get out. Money to you got to get out there on the man. street, and you got to make the money happen. I, I just got an email from a ex Navy SEAL, mm-hmm. and he—I don't know this guy from Adam. He don't know me from Adam, and I don't even think he in this state. But he's sending mm-hmm. out emails, man, because he's running for office. He's just a regular dude with a wife and some kids, an ex Navy mm-hmm. SEAL, and he's running for office. He don't look but- like a dumbass. He don't look like a Yahoo. He younger than we are. He got to be late thirties, maybe if that. Look, he might be in his early thirties. Retired and he getting the full check with the family right now. He is. So he ain't got to work like. But he he ain't got to. But listen, this this is what I said. This guy was an ex Navy SEAL, bro. Right. right. You 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 don't even you can't even conceive of the work that this man has done in his life. You can't even sit back and think about it. You, you know, I was, you in, the, no I was in the Navy. I got, a, I got, a, I, got a, I got, a, I was in the Navy, so yeah, I got. A, I but you were a seal. You got no, no fame or rep. Have I, you ever I heard? Have you ever heard of Hell Week? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay, well, what I'm talking about. So the man earned the money that he's. That's what I'm. Boy, that's just. I, a, I get that's it. Ain't, just it ain't about <laughs> the money that he earned. I'm just saying. That's just the crux him. of what I'm saying. Uh-uh. He uh-uh, he learned where he at. He not where he at because of anything other than he earned to be where he at. If he's I, going I a full you, ride and he's taking care of his family, I, he does he earn that. This man, I, I get you don't that, know but this man been under fire. You don't no, know no, this no, man no. That took rounds. That, that, that ain't my whole. That was my that. whole thing. My whole <sighs> thing was me just jumping right out here yeah. without no money, yeah. without working a nine to five. I ain't gonna be able to run for no how, office. How I do, can't do how, it. how do I'm not so much stuck on you doing it. I'm just telling you that for the principle mm-hmm. of what I'm, I'm just, saying. You know, but but even if you wanted to, how does a candidate get money? He got to start getting people to to follow him. Right. That's it. Donations. But how you got time if you're doing a 12-hour shift at a job? You ain't got time for that, man. Well, and then you got babies listen, at home listen, and you listen, got a wife. Listen, you ain't got time for that. In listen, my life, you don't if, have time. If you, want, if you wanted to run for an, an office, then you have to make time. You work 12 well, saying, hours, my, and then four hours you get out there and you stunt and you try to get but, donations. So I'm just but, saying look, it's possible. Me, but, it will be very, very, very hard. I'm not taking that away. It gonna but be, it, but, it gonna be beyond hard, man. It is gonna be beyond hard. But can't black people do some beyond hard stuff every now and then? Can we jump into the hard? Can we do the impossible? Don't we possess the knowledge, the brain power, the drive, and the skill to do that? We can do anything man, we want to do. I had to rob a bank to be able to run for president, man. No, you wouldn't. I, have to I rob would. A bank. I would have to rob a bank. You man, wouldn't have to rob and be a bank. like. <laughs> Where I can tell you this. I can tell you this. I can tell you this. You probably wouldn't be able to run, but you, but not for the reasons that you say. You wouldn't be able to run because of what's up here in your head. Because you don't I, think I you can. Because you, you don't I'm think you can. I, I'm a realist. I ain't got the money to do it. It's just like if I go to, let's just say I go to Macy's right now, and it's a, uh, I want, I see like a, a, a outfit I want. Okay, I ain't got but fifty dollars in my damn. <laughs> In my damn on my account. This man talking about. But man. the outfit is two hundred dollars. Listen, okay. I've Chances never, is I ain't listen, gonna get that outfit. Is I've never bought anything that was two hundred dollars that I had to put on my body. Ever. And I'm fifty three. But I'm listen, saying, I'm not hung up. I'm not hung up on. I'm not hung up on you running for office. I'm just saying that 
if we want to change things, we have to really start doing the hard. You know, just like now, I work 12 hour shifts too, but what are we doing? We're online right now, talking about an issue, drumming up some support right now. I need me a rich, some rich ass friends. That you don't need, need no rich ass friend. You need I to damn, become we rich. Don't, we need us some rich ass friend with some good credit. Bro. You need to become rich. About some of that, some of that Illuminati credit. That's what we need. I got Somebody good credit. Me. You got some Illuminati credit though. See, there's a difference. My there's credit, difference my Illuminati. credit is over eight hundred. I don't know if that's Illuminati credit, but I got I good credit. Gonna, I do what I'm finna tell you. Right, look, do what I'm finna tell you. So what you do is with what we saying. Mm -hmm. You need to show us what we need to do to get up. Uh, help us get to that. I'm stage. telling you. <laughs> First of all, share this victimized. There's a oh, white hey. supremacy. There's all this. And the reason why I can't do this because they getting more chicken than I'm getting. Oh, no, no, no. Share no, all but, of that. That's the very that? first thing you got to do to succeed is you got to stop using any excuse. And I think that's what a lot of people do not necessarily you because you take everything i say and personalize it and you say well, <laughs> why well i don't do that right there uh, see, my family doesn't see, the do thing you i'm not to, talking you about you and your family we got a whole no, nation of I'm, black people we you remember right. what Chuck me say it takes a nation of millions to hold me back we got a I lot know. of people so what i'm saying is we need to change our mindset the first thing we need to do man is stop focusing outward on what other people do what other people got and start looking at what we can do we need to get our children to pay attention in school we we need engineers, doctors, lawyers, surgeons. That's what we need. Stem cell. You shouldn't let your kid go to college for nothing that ain't STEM technology. We need to build a base. Let me ask you this question. I know I'm going to set it off now. This, this doesn't have to do with the white supremacy thing, but let me ask you a question. Do you think we should get reparations? And if you do think that, what should what should the reparations be? I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say it like this. I don't know whether we should get them or not, but if they offer them, I'm going to be in line, buddy. You can believe that. I'm, I'm going to be Spoke, in line to get spoken, line. spoken like a true uh, 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 soldier. But no, I'm not talking <laughs> about that. I'm saying I'm saying you already got reparation, number one. Number two, okay. if they were to give us anything, I'm going to tell you what I think they should do. One, they should exempt us from taxes. Black people shouldn't have yeah. to pay no taxes. I don't understand why we had to come through the, the whip and chain and be behind the plow and, and work for nothing and then have to come in and pay taxes once we do get a little job. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, I think we should have free higher education. But yeah. I think it should only be in the technical fields. It should only be science, mathematics, engineering, things like that. Because what See? that will do is that will make our leading class, we'll start worshiping these thugs and these stupid ass dudes, and we'll have to worship people who actually doing something and actually got something on the ball. So in other words, it'll become more fashionable to get a good education than it would be to go to jail. Because right now, brothers is going to jail getting all type of clout. Coming out like they See, rock stars, you know. I'm working on that right now, man. As we right. speak. You know, I got I just got through with um we just going to say technology angle. I just did a technology course Good. and I'm about to work on another one. You know, I, I got, um, I got, I got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do, you know, and like that, I said, I know we just all discussing right now, but right. you know, like I was saying on the other one, um, my mind now is different than what it used to be. I grew up seeing stuff firsthand and I used to look at it firsthand. I had a glass half empty mentality back then. Man. Mm -hmm. Now I have a glass half full mentality. Don't Good. it ain't so much that I don't see that it's still I don't see the half portion is gone. It's just that I look at it. I, I try to look at stuff from a from a more po positive um perspective now. You know what I'm saying? I, I do feel like I can do anything. You know, I it's just that if you do something and I see you you can't get mad if I say something because you did it in front of me. Hey, that's you fine. Know, that, that's You're supposed how to. It is, you You're know? supposed to. But what I'm saying is there's nothing anybody can do that can really stop you. There's nothing. Nah. So you agree with me then. There is no white supremacy. I ain't going to say that, but you know I... <laughs> well, you ain't going to say You just said yeah. it. You just got done saying it. But, but look. Yeah, 
Nah, I ain't you did. That. You just got that saying. You say hey, no, 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 say no, if they if, if, if they say he tried to fool me. Look, he tried to fool me. He fooled me, Buck. That's what nah. he tried to do. He tried to railroad me. I nah. saw you. It nah, doesn't nah, exist, like, man. Nah, look. <laughs> it does I'm not exist. I, I'm, I, I have not heard one example of white supremacy. I've heard people have taken advantage of what their forefathers have done. I see that. I see that they have but concentrated. That is, they have concentrated more on structured feminine education than we have. But here's the thing, though. So do uh, Nigerians when they come over here. You know, Nigerians I mean, is top. Give Nigerians them, is give top three. To come. Nigeria's is top three income. Money to come over here though. They're, yeah, but they're, but they're listen, paid to they come not, over here. But, they but, get our money that we but, can't even get. But they're not coming over here working at McDonald's, Chief. They're coming over here getting the education. Now nah, they're coming the over here getting a whole store and all my neighborhood people <laughs> going and buying everything from me. That, that's, that's, that's not that's not that's not that's not every Nigerian that I know. I don't know no Nigerians that own no store. I know some Arabs man, that do, but I don't know no Nigerians that do. But you know what? Right down the road, right here. No, but see, there you go. There you go. There's a Nigerian you know, right down here. Got a Nigerian guy. I know. Right in my here. life, I've seen. What I'm trying to tell you is that's not the norm. That's probably one out of five hundred thousand Nigerians, bro. Man, it's a whole. It's a whole. Tuscaloosa is full. Of Nigerian gas station, man. Okay. I, I well, that's not. Tuscaloosa. There's not one here. So that's what I'm saying. When I go to Texas, not one. When I go to Atlanta, not one. So that's what I mean, brother. You see that. But that's yeah, not that, the Y'all market. running them up. Y'all running them up out of the It's not that. Well, it's not that. It's <laughs> not that. It's not that. When I go when I when I go to the doctor, I see Nigerian doctors though. I do see them. Now what can he tell you that an American doctor can't tell you? Apparently a whole lot because he got the job. Man, he got the job. I I get it. But a lot of them don't know. They don't know healing from where doesn't, doesn't matter. All I'm saying is he's successful. He making all that money from not knowing Willie from Jilly, but we've been here 500 years and we not making it. That's what I'm saying. And we not doing it because we ain't putting the foot forward to do it. I get that it it's good. hard. I get that it's it not ain't, easy. It ain't the but the let me tell you, let me tell you, you can't use everybody. Life not the same. I like your that. life structure, like your life structure might be, enable you to be able to do something that my but, life structure won't. But I know that. Enable me to be able to do. But I know yeah. that the thing is though, I don't but think you can see. On, though, I don't you know? think you can see past your own personal life experience. Is what I'm saying. So I can see past nah, my personal life experience. I know a lot of brothers ain't doing what I'm doing. I know a lot of them don't think the way I think. I know a lot of people don't live the experience that I live, and I can acknowledge that. So when mm -hmm. you say something, I don't say, "Well, look, man, I don't do that." You know, this, right. you know, I, it ain't about me. It's about. This. Let me tell you what is good that I hear right now. What's good is, you said you just finished a technical course and you finished do another technical course. Guess what I noticed that you got? You got babies, right? Guess what you doing for them babies? You showing them exactly what I'm talking about. You're not talking to them. You're showing them. They learn more from what you do than they ever will from what you say. So what yeah. you're doing is exactly what I'm talking about. Improving and passing it on to the next generation, which will make them better. So your kids are less likely to be caught up in this penile system. They're less likely to be out there on dope. They're less likely to be single mothers and, and single fathers. They less likely to do that because they daddy got up and got out and did something. Here's another thing you do that you don't understand is a very positive thing. You come home every day. That's a big thing for kids to know that that's what a man's supposed to do. He's supposed to go out, bust his hump, and come home. And you spend a lot of time around him. And I see you interact with him a whole lot. So, man, that's all beautiful. But you got to understand, you're not the norm. You're not the majority of people. You ain't the majority of guys. You're quite rare, actually. So that's what I mean. You know, we got to put people out there to change this thing, man. And I think we just need to change a mindset because there is no white supremacy. There's none of that. All this racism stuff. White people are not concerned about you like you think they are. It seems like black people think I can look at a white person to tell what's going on in their mind. And it's the craziest I thing I've seen in my life. Go ahead. I got a question for you. All right. Yes, sir. But you, you tap in on this one, too. Man, if it ain't you. no... 
if it ain't no no white as supremacy. you say white supremacy right. or no that spirit or whatever right why is all of a sudden they trying to break their neck to try to take slavery and the and the history of how they did us out of the history books and stuff? For the same if you ain't if, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me finish though. If you ain't if if you know that you didn't do us wrong, what is the problem? For the same reason why they trying to call men women and women men because they satanic. Well, that means well, and and, the, and white supremacy is satanic. White supremacy is oh. satanic. Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter is also satanic. Yeah, I, I I didn't never I don't know I don't I never knew what it was all about. I I felt like okay that it was some people. <laughs> I never really just listen, researched. Listen, but I know when that all the, when was, all the men died that we ride it for, and their family didn't get any other money, but the people who was collecting the money went and bought right. mansions in right. in neighborhoods with the same white people that they claim is so with bad. The same people. That that, right. that that that's see that's the type of stuff right there that keep us where we at, bro. Imagine what we could have done. You was talking about money, right? You was talking about you know, loans and stuff. Imagine what you could have done with all the millions of dollars that they had. They could have gave you a million and told you yeah. to go start off and it would have been better served than what they went and did with it. Do you know they I had am... do you know they had an inauguration party for Joe Biden and one of them men? What? Yes. The Black Lives Matter people. I'm telling you, man, it ain't white supremacy, it's green supremacy. That's your problem. That's the system that's oppressing you. It's rich people, and all of them ain't white. A lot of them black. A lot of them Asian. A lot of them Arabic. A lot of them African. It's it's who got and who don't got. That's the problem we got. We still living in the past under that system because they perpetuate in the media and in culture about this black white thing when it ain't been that way. Man, I'm I'm over here and like I said, I live in predominantly white area and I see so many mixed couples, it ain't crazy over here. Ain't none over here, bro. Man, this mixed couples everywhere over here. What, 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 what we call what we used to call war babies ain't going on all over, over the place. It ain't going on over here. I know it, but I just need you to understand <laughs> that just because it ain't going on over there don't mean that it ain't going on. If you could yeah, I, entertain I that, that thought right there, that just because it ain't happening where you at don't mean it right. ain't happening. So all well, I'm, I'm saying using, is I'm just using this area as an example. I know that's what that's you know. that's what you've been doing. <laughs> Right, right. You're using your area as well. I'm not just right. using. I'm not just using one area because we live in a whole big old world, and right. that's a society. A society is many people. Society is a group of families, uh, a village, a town, uh, uh, all of that come together to make a society. And there are certain trends and certain things that move in a societal way. Just like how you were telling me how you finna go ahead and kick off another project. And that you don't want to talk about the same stuff no more, like everybody right. else is talking about, right? Because that stuff is damaging to people. You got little kids out that their brain ain't even ready for some of the subject matter that they're hearing. We got little kids that's 12, 13, and as soon as you hand them a cell phone, you just have handed them a porn machine. They already ruined by the time they get out of high school. You got these young girls, 17, 18 years old, with 35 bodies. Yep. And it's destroying us. So what we need to do is we need to stamp that stuff out. Like back in the day when the Black Panthers, this type of stuff, they, you know, the Black Panthers policed their own neighborhoods so that the white police didn't have to come in their neighborhood. They kept it, you know, but they, they, came, they, kept but it they came in in a way. Well, they sent in agents into that and that killed it from the inside out. Because, like you said before, there's always a brother that's gonna be like, man, man I, you know, I can't give up my, you know, man, so there's gonna be one of us that's gonna do that, bro. Right. And that exists in, in every race, in every you know group of people. You gonna have that. I just think we should be strong enough to, you know, battle through all of that. I mean, we've been here from the beginning, man. Well, you know, when all is said and done, man, everybody gonna be melanated before long. I mean, I'm just saying, it's just like it came from that, and it's going. You want to hear? Well, you don't want to hear it. I ain't going to tell you. This, I got another Wait. show for you. No, I'm just going to be I, another. I, okay. I, 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 I don't want to start different right now because Buck look like he done. No, <laughs> God, hey. Question. Yeah. I know this might not be on the subject, Yeah. but I was hearing on the news back here some months ago, yeah. mm -hmm. they trying to start the um, 
the Jim Crow thing in Jackson, Mississippi. In Jackson, Mississippi, it's already back. They, they just ain't voted. They I ain't approved the vote. I haven't heard of that, but I would welcome Jim Crow. I why? won't. Why, <laughs> why not? Man, we don't need that, man. What is Jim, Jim Crow? The problem, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. What man, is what Jim Crow? Well, look, but. It, well, it's it? just. It's just like the white. Well, the white gonna be kind of like it's like they, David. They, they, it's like they, they, that's supremacy. They gonna be in control of everything that's black. That's no, what it, it is. is. No, that ain't that's what how Jim Crow it is was. in Jackson. That what that going on in Jackson. That was yeah. that wasn't what Jim Crow was though. See, I ain't no, I, I ain't never, I ain't never really know. It, about it, it was just separation. Whites had not, whites yeah. had things for whites, and blacks had things for blacks. That's all it well, was. That, well, that ain't what they doing it in Jackson. What, what they, they doing, doing in Jackson, Jackson is they what they doing. Okay, you have let's say you have zones in, right. in one city. Right. right. The zones that normally black mm -hmm. got more black presence when it comes to law enforcement and stuff. Mm -hmm. What they trying to do is get rid of all of the black presence and make it all a white presence so in so predominantly what? black areas. So what? So it's gonna be a lot of unfair treatment, man. How you that's figure what, that? Because that's what it always is. Nope. Police are bound by the law. Man, that don't mean they're gonna uphold it. But they uphold it when they want to think do about, think about that. Well, it's the same, the it, it, it's the same with black officers. Only when they want to uphold it. It's the same thing. I mean, you just don't as, see that just as, as many black Yes, you yes, you do. Just as many black officers is corrupt as white ones. Well, they learn from them. Well, you don't, so, your, so, so, police, so you saying that black men ain't capable of coming up with any independent thought. Every time they do something mm -hmm. bad, they learn it from the white man. But every time they do something good, they thought it up on their own, right? Mm -hmm. You don't see that. You don't see how you. <laughs> you don't see uh -huh. how you but, thinking, bro. But it's the but it's the truth, you know. That it, all that if if, if it's not I the have truth. A system, it's far a system, from the truth. I'm gonna research this. I'm I'm gonna just feel what I'm saying. If I have a system, yeah, and I introduce you to my system, and yeah. you don't know nothing, and I teach you my system, yeah, and you do it the way that I want to do it, or, or the way that I do it, or the way that I show you how to do it, yeah. and it ain't right, yeah. I mean, I'm wrong. I, I okay. ain't wrong. You, you was a, you you was in the military, right? Yeah. Okay, so did they tell you you had to follow every order that you were given to the letter? Pretty much. Did they tell you to follow any unlawful orders? No. Because I was in the military too. Right. So if the order was unlawful, I didn't have to follow it. Right, but I never so got an you, unlawful so order. I, I, I get that, but I'm not talking about mm -hmm. you getting one. I'm saying you just said that the police come and teach you your system and you do it the way I do it. If it's wrong, I should not be doing it because I'm not stupid. I know right but from wrong. But once again, what we just said, man, I, I got to make my money, man. I, there's, there's always one or two like that. But I'm saying, so you saying all black people are like that? Uh -uh, I'm on the I think about most black people, that. I think most black people are honest. But I think that the, the percentage that's not, it doesn't matter what color they are. They're just right. bad. So yeah. when it comes to police, police are like a supervisor at work. See, I'm, I'm a supervisor at work. I'm going to tell you what I have to do all day. I have to tell people to do things that they don't want to do. Then I have to go back and make sure that they do things that they don't want to do. That's the police. Yo, yo, back, you don't want to do your job? Go, yeah, they don't want to do their job. They want. This is what they would love to happen. Most people would love for them to get that check they're getting where all they got to do is come there and sit around and talk and have a break all day, eat lunch, and go home. To them, that's enough to get the check that they get. To most people. That's most people, dude. Most people don't have it that easy, bro. That, but that's you, man. I, they don't have it that easy. No one has it that easy. But I'm saying that's what they would rather do. So my right. point is that you're telling people, get up, do this work. Don't just do it how you want to. Do it like this. Do it to this level. Then when you're done with that, I got some more work for you. That's like the police. They're telling you to do something you don't want to do. You're out in the street. You know, had too much to drink. They telling you, "Hey, go home. You can't drive your car." And what do you do? Get belligerent with them. 
So my but point it, is, it ain't that simple. It ain't that it, simple, man. It is a lot of them come simple. through. We done been, me and Buck done been together. All of, they come through picking, man, for nothing. We don't be yeah. on business. We don't be drunk. They, they, they we don't come be done been doing nothing I've, wrong. They, it's just look, us together I've been, is like something that they don't want. I've been black a long time. Together. I've been black a long time, and I've been stopped plenty of times by the police, but if all I do is comply with what they say, and guess what they do? They look at whatever they want to look at, then they take their tail on. Cause I ain't doing nothing. Right. Uh, let's just say you ain't in the car and you just somewhere chilling, yeah. like how we would yeah. be yeah. in the city, just yeah. chilling, seven yeah. or eight of us or something. Yeah, they got. They want to come through, pick with us, try to see what we got in yep. our pocket, yep. see what the lights and all. That's it. illegal, man. You ain't supposed to be able to do that, bro. That's not illegal. That's called police work. That ain't no police work. Yeah, they ain't doing nothing. Yeah, but see, so you saying but see, that, but that see, because it's but a see, pile you, of us, you, that, that no, no. right for you to be able to just, that's picking. Yes, man. that's what I'm saying. Because listen, if it's eight or ten people that look like you, I'm crossing the street. Uh, crossing the street. I ain't going through y'all. Because I don't know if I'm making out of that line. You got too many people out there doing dirt, dog. Too many of them. So the, the innocent people that get searched is a price you got to pay. You ain't getting shot. Okay. You ain't getting locked right. up. You just getting right. harassed a little bit. But the reason why you're getting harassed is because we don't police our own community. We got too many brothers out here off the chain doing dumb stuff. If we was but to like, stop them at from the, the beginning, the then the though. cops... No, 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 no. If we would to stop them from behaving like that, the cops wouldn't have a problem with, I don't care if it was 30 of y'all. If they Man, didn't feel like it might be a chain... Okay, let me break it down to you like this. In Atlanta, when I lived in Atlanta, right? I always was riding and smoking all the time. If the cops had to stop me just one time, get what? And I've been stopped two or three times. What they found? Guess what? We now was it crazy for them to stop me? I wasn't doing that. I wasn't bothering nobody. Why they stop me? So that's what I mean. We are, there's too many people out there doing crazy stuff. Huh? <laughs> Man, I'd have ate so many blunts when the cops, them blue light came on. Hell, I would have <laughs> just, oh, But I'm just saying, Hell I'm just saying that, listen, man, if the, if, the, if, the, if you had, if you, if you had to protect, if you had to protect, listen, remember the guy I told you about that, he get on Facebook and he do these rants or whatnot. Uh, he had a friend, man, and this guy passed away too. He's a good friend of all ours, man. Uh, he had a grandson, man, that they rolled through the project, man, and just shot at each other, none of the people who were shooting at each other got hit, but they hit this man grandson. God. Yeah. So what I'm saying is when you're in an environment like that, dude, if a pack of y'all got to get searched, I'm with it. That's all I'm saying. If that's all God. that is, if you feel like that's a rap and you shouldn't be, I'm sorry for you. But you all didn't right. get hurt. Okay. You didn't get took down. You didn't get okay. no money taken from you. You didn't, nothing happened uh -oh. to you. Now, now watch this book. Watch this book. Okay, what about when you so you you doing that to me? But it's a pile of white ones across the street that got like double the numbers we got. Is but it you a, don't do nothing? Is to it them. is it a pile of white ones running through shooting up people grandkids? If it was, then I mean, they've they be been wearing these schools out lately now. So you they ain't been wearing no schools that. out. They've been wearing these schools that, out. That, it's it, that, that that it's just as many black people doing that as it is white people. Man, I ain't been seeing that. Man. Yeah, you ain't, ain't seen, seen the dude in Dallas that that killed the cops, the mass shooter in Dallas. You ain't seen that. That that Hispanic. That they no, we no Hispanic. This is a brother. Man, that man. That this was a brother. Hispanic he went man. off. No, we we did. We not talking about. Then we not talking that, about the same brother because this was a that brother. That dude had a sombrero on. Man, that was a Mexican. Nah, brother. that wasn't no Mexican. That was a that was a brother. But even if it was a Mexican, <laughs> even if it was, it wasn't a white person. So. You can't stop a group of white like people. They came out the burrito shop, but you, that was a Mexican. You can't stop a bunch of white people <laughs> and search them because one of them might shoot a school up. If that's the case, search them at school. But out in the street is where we do our dirt. And we all wear the same uniform, bro. We all yeah, look the same. You can't, How do that, you know? That's, that's prejudging. You can't, it you is can't pre judge me. Yes, you can. You can't, you can't judge time. me. Let me tell you what man, judgment that, do. Judgment keep you alive. Judgment is the thing that, that they got the human race where it is right now. Because I judge. I look both ways before I cross the street. I judge whether if it's a car coming, I can make it cross or not. We judge all day, 
every day, man. So you gonna be in the car if you was a policeman? Ah, right, let me go search these black folk right here, right quick. Come if on, it, man. If, that if, ain't fair, hey, bro. If it was a game, problem, right. if it was a game problem in my city, hell yeah, I would. that ain't that ain't fair, man. Come no, it's on, not. Man. What's fair? fair. Ooh, ooh, you know, I'm gonna tell you what Tony Soprano told him. Ooh, what's fair? What's fair? Don't nobody tell him about fair. If it was fair, then we wouldn't have people out there. You been robbed. Tony man? Soprano was one of the biggest crooks that ever hit the TV. Probably man. the biggest. Come on now. Probably the biggest. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> what I'm saying. Ain't nothing so, to do with fair. So what's got? So what's fair? That's all I'm saying. Life ain't fair. Men don't think about fair. Man. We we oh, overcome man. obstacles, man. And and you didn't suffer any repercussions from being stopped and harassed by the cops. And they used to, they used to stop oh, me. We, we used to be 9, 10, 11. It'd be like three or four of us in the cops used to stop and harass. It's just a part of life. To give you the one excuse I heard, oh, some lady said some kids bust the back of her window out. We just check it. I ain't been around nobody window. But that's just what it is. But look, dude, I'm still here. I'm sitting there, I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm man, making a video with your partner, man. I'm over here burning buck to death. I mean, <laughs> you know, what else can you do if not to bore buck to death, man? He need to be fixing my truck yeah, up. What he need to be over here done. <laughs> yeah, look, it's, hard, it's hard to think about a beat when we sitting over here trying to, look, trying to get some loans and well, we ain't getting approved. Uh, well, look, man, you don't know need loans. Man, you don't need a loan. <laughs> what you need a loan for? If I was to give you a loan right now of uh, $100,000, what would you do with it? Man, I'd, go into, I, I'd do some investing, man. Invest in what? Take you care of a few things. I, I can't really tell you, bro. You just had to trust my process. You know, I, I can't really just tell you. Are you gonna are you, gonna are you gonna invest in something that's gonna get you searched by the police? <laughs> hey, they might search me anyway, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. but look at what I'm oh Jesus Christ. I think that's the exclamation <laughs> point on this thing right here, man. I'm gonna let Buck go, man. Them eyes looking the eyes looking low over there. I'm gonna let him go, man. <laughs> All right, well, look, I can tell you this. You didn't prove to me that white right supremacy exists. So, you know, and I probably didn't prove to you that it doesn't. So, you know, we had a nice little talk, man. We're going to put this that, thing you know, out. i tell you what, though. If anybody's watching this video, man, leave a comment and tell me what do y'all think does white supremacy exist. And please, white people, please put comments in there and let this man know. Y'all ain't think about his black ass. Please. So that's it, man. I'm gonna go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, go ahead. Hold on. Let me get him. Let me get him. A, uh, I'm see. just gonna edit this out. But go ahead. Why, why, why the America? Why the America? I, I don't hate nobody, man. I hate. I love everybody. Y'all yeah, believe that, dude? The thing about it is, I just, just from where we from, some of the stuff we done seen have been unfair, bro. You know, that's all. I'm speaking on stuff that that I done seen or done been through. Everybody and it ain't been and it has ain't been, been treated fair, unfairly. You know? so, Everybody's been treated and, unfairly. No, no, but like I was saying, I can don't 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 kill me because I'm telling you that I see what you did or you doing me wrong. You know, you can't get mad at me for saying something if you did it. No you know one so cares. No one's see, gonna care. See what? No <laughs> one is going to care. I don't it's hate so nobody. Small, it's so small, nobody gonna care. Why there's more white people love you than hate you, man. If that make you feel right, like better. Right. And I love more of them than I hate. Right. I ain't got none that I, I don't hate. hate anybody. I don't hate nobody. Yeah, I don't hate nobody. That real talk, man. I'm on Wait a some, minute. I'm trying Wait to get minute. in heaven. Wait there. a minute. Huh? I hate in words. I hate them. Yeah. But other than that, that's it. Yeah, I don't hate nobody, man. I hate in words. If you if you acting like, you know, that certain sector our people. That that you know, but see, but on it, man. He might be sleeping, <laughs> but he on it. Yeah, I don't hate nobody, man. man I, I just if I could take I, one what section I out, boy. Before I even took the Taliban out, I get them ninjas, boy. Them the ones I take up out of here first. I just I just go by what God said. We supposed to pray for our the, our enemy. Man. He did. Anybody that's our enemy is anybody that's trying to, you know. Take us out of here. Do he us did. wrong with it. It don't matter what color your enemy is. Your enemy. So yeah. anybody that's you know opposite of what you're trying to do, especially if you following God, you're supposed to pray for them, man. You're supposed to pray for them, pray for their mind, man. Pray that they see stuff better and try to see stuff from a better perspective, man. You know, I, I used to, like I said, I used to, I used to be mad, man. I used to want, I used to want blood, bro. But now, you know, wow. the way I feel, I just. 
you had to pray, man, and keep going, man. I got kids that I'm trying to, you know, I want them to see the right way. I want them to follow how I follow. I'm a, I'm very patient. I'm very, you know what I'm saying? I try to think very deeply before I just do anything or make any move. Yeah, so I just want them to be the same way, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got them. Well. I, I ain't got nothing bad, you know. Well, I appreciate it. And you know what? Oh, yeah. That, those are great words to go out to. Like I said, man, you cook a little bit, man. You like a little chef. You get in the kitchen a little bit on it. Ah, man. You know, so I, I appreciate it, man. You get in the <laughs> kitchen a little bit. So I'm right, just doing man. some, we just, just throwing thoughts so that, you know, all right. I, everything. I didn't put all my thoughts out there, but, hey, you know, it's fertilizer, man. Know. It's fertilizer. Yep. Somebody, yep. you know, you yep. plant the seed, brother. So, yep. All right, we're going to go ahead on and call a quiz, Lord Fader Perspective, Merc 1, Raw T, and we're going to be out of here. Don't place your faith in the sun, moon, and stars. God is the only one who knows who you are. Believe in yourself. Protect your wealth. Start playing chess because they're killing black people. Don't place your faith in the sun, moon, and stars. God is the only one who knows who you are. Believe in yourself. Protect your wealth. Start playing chess because they're killing black people. Yo, who you study? Who you trying to be like? Source is dead, ain't nobody getting no fire light. We in the streets trying to overcome this evil. This ain't no joke no more, they killing black people. Cause we not really considered citizens. We don't know the mess emancipation put us in. Terms of the document was that we leaving. But we stayed cause they had our folks believing. I don't know about you, but where my mule at? Where the acres that they promised that would go with that? They sat back just to see if we would roll with that. Black Folk cheap labor make this country fat. Don't give a damn about a Democrat Republican. Gay folks took the shine off the black man. More interested in what's in your underwear than black lives needing something cause they don't care. Don't place your faith in the sun, moon, and stars. God is the only one who knows who you are. Believe in yourself. Protect your wealth. Start playing chess cause they killing black people. Don't place your faith in the sun, moon, and stars. God is the only one who knows who you are. Believe in yourself. Protect your wealth. Start playing chess cause they killing black people. Steady word by some shoes that your man got. The car he drives or the fact that his girl's hot. If he the have, then I guess you are the have not. You covered what he have, so he in a bad spot. Black people hurt their own trying to live a good life. You slow and simple minded, so you live a bug's life. Competing for the scraps that fall off while they table. An old story going back to Cain and Abel. These evil rappers have you focused on your low self. Copy how they live, that ain't good for your health. You can't learn to be a man from a pop star. Head in the clouds like you was a rock star. Who you gonna be, key, queen, rook upon? Act like an animal and that's how you be looked upon. Not understanding what be locked inside your DNA. A righteous man will always choose to walk the narrow way. Don't place your faith in the sun, moon, and stars. God is the only one who knows who you are. Believe in yourself. Protect your wealth. Start playing chess cause they killing black people. Don't place your faith in the sun, moon, and stars. God is the only one who knows who you are. Believe in yourself. Protect your wealth. Start playing chess cause they killing black people.